It's not entirely well, a in their, in their little habitat that we have, because we we have um, oh, yeah. uh, 19 of them. So Leslie's out today. Oh, look at him. So in their habitat, they um like the little cubbies they, they will outline. But it's a certain amount of spigots there. Like for instance, well, basically the more spigots you have, uh -huh. the more types of silk you can make. Okay. So the orb weaver, since they build these big, these huge webs, they have but. And they will, they're slow enough that you can do that without them thinking. Yeah. He's going to yeah. The spider gets trapped in your clothing or your bedding uh, and you're crushing it to death and it can't escape, then it may bite uh, as last resort. Most people, uh, many people come with, with a fear of spiders and it's, um, it's difficult to understand uh, why. I mean, yes, they can run really quickly, but not for very far. They're sprinters, not long range, to long distance runners. And yes, they're a little hairy, but um, Whereas it might be, it's rational, for example, to be afraid of animals that can really hurt you. Um, for 99.99% of spiders, that isn't the case. They can't hurt you at all. Uh, most of them are so small, they can't break your skin. Uh, even if they could break your skin, which they're not likely to do, um, and even if they injected venom, which almost all spiders have, in almost all cases, the venom has absolutely no effect on humans. So there's really nothing to be scared about for almost all spiders. The tarantulas that will prey, um, tarant tarantulas okay. eat scorpions, and scorpions eat, uh, eat um, spiders. Okay. Um, you will have uh, larger lizards and feed on um, feed on scorpions and. And someone had mentioned kind of like the arm. Of course, spiders are actually crucial to our lives in ways that people generally don't understand. It's now becoming more widely understood that we depend on bees, for example, um, because most of our crops are pollinated by bees. And without bees, we have a problem getting food. The same thing is true with spiders. Spiders are the main regulators of insect populations, including populations of the insects that attack our crops. If the spiders aren't there, insect populations go through the roof, they eat all our food, we have nothing. With this other friend. Yeah, lonely. A, gen and a, a general rule with exceptions in nature, so there are a few who happen to have large cases and also have a pretty um, um, high venom, but uh, as a, as a rule of thumb. We want people to take several things away. First of all, that spiders are helpful rather than harmful, um, that they are extraordinarily diverse, um, that we know very little about them, uh, even though they are so common and important uh, in our planet, and that they're an active area for research, including research that's done here at the museum.